Hi, welcome to the third episode in the 5 Things from Metal Gear Solid 5 series. In this episode I'll be showing you how to create a simple buddy system where I can spawn the buddy if they're not near me and then also press a button and have them walk over to me. So, I'll just give you an example of this. First off, this is a clip from Metal Gear Solid 5 of the buddy system. And now I will show you my version. So my version is a lot simpler. Here I have no buddy in the level, so I'm just going to press Q and it spawns my buddy. And my buddy is very identical, but you know, I'm on a budget. And now I'm over here. I'm going to go up here. I'll just press Q and he'll come over to near me. Press Q again and he'll walk over to me. Okay. Uh, as you see, he should be able to go up the stairs using this nav mesh. I'm not quite sure why he wasn't. But anyway, so there's a few simple things this uses. This uses some blueprints in our character, some in a separate buddy character class, and then also this, a nav mesh volume. So as you can see, all the parts that are green, they can be walked over. So, let's get started. So in our third person tutorial blueprint, I'm going to open up my third person character blueprints. So I'm going to go to third person character and I'm going to go to my blueprints. And over in the variables tab, I want a new variable. I want my buddy spawned as a boolean. And I'm going to compile and have its default value set to false. Now the reason we're having this in our main character is because we want to check if we're going to use this. Do they even have a buddy to spawn over? or if they don't have one, should we spawn one? So to do this, I'm gonna use the Q button and I'm gonna hold B and press left click and I'm gonna use on release. I will drag in my buddy spawn and click get. And now we're gonna check, is our buddy spawned when we've pressed Q? If our buddy is not spawned, we want to spawn it. So we want to spawn actor from class and we want to choose our class which we haven't yet made so we'll get to that in a moment first off we're going to set up its spawn transform so as you saw in my example and in the Metal Gear Solid example uh, the buddy doesn't spawn directly where you are so we need to get our character's location and just make a few adjustments to where it does spawn so the first thing we want is our axis location. So we just get axis location and we'll take this over here. And then what we want is we want our follow camera. So we can just drag that in as a reference and we want to get world rotation, then get forward vector, vector length, And the vector length just turns it into a scalar, into a float. Because what we're going to do is then multiply this. Sorry, we want multiply float multiplied by float by 100. Because this is going to check if we're facing forwards or behind us. So that ideally our buddy will spawn in the opposite way we are facing. So from here, we're going to break vector, and then we want a make vector. Because we're going to multiply all these values here by this value. So what I've done there is just copied and pasted my multiply value. And I'm going to plug the x into the top, the y into the top of the second one, and the z into the top of the third one, and just take this value and place it into the bottom of them all and then we go x to x, y to y and z to z. Sorry, we don't want multiply, we want subtract. Copy and paste our subtract and 
line it up as before. Then just plug this value into the bottom. And this way our buddy will spawn near us, but hopefully not in the way we are facing. And that is our spawn transform. Otherwise, we want to get our buddy. But we can't get our buddy as we don't have our buddy class. So if we go back to the third person example map, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my third person character. I'm just going to name this buddy character and open it up. Now inside here I can delete all my code and my camera boom and my follow camera. And then when we compile it we're going to get some issues here. So we just need to check here and make sure we've deleted any variables and any functions and hit compile. This way it's a very basic character class with absolutely no code because it's going to be AI driven instead of player driven. So now we go back to our third person character and from our class here we can select our buddy character. Hit compile and that error has gone away. Otherwise if we do have a buddy, I want to get all actors of class. And I want to get my buddy character. Now the reason I'm using all actors of class is because we are only having one buddy, but we need to make a reference to our buddy character, which we can't do otherwise, because we need to get a reference to the class. Now you could use some other forms of classes or a blueprint interface, but this is a very simple way to get our buddy as well. So from here, I'm going to do this into a for each loop, even though there's only going to be one loop. And I'm going to cast to AI. Sorry, I'm going to get AI controller using our array element. And our return value is going to be move to actor. Simple move to actor. Our controller is this AI controller, and then our goal is going to be a reference to self. Get a reference to self. Now, the getting a reference to self is a reference to the third person character and not the buddy character. So, what this is saying here is all actors of class buddy, so all buddies, should move to my main character. And we can only have one buddy because buddy spawned is going to be set to true once they're spawned. Now we could also do this by going into our buddy and going event begin play cast to third person character our object will be get player character as third person character set buddy spawned to true. So on spawn set our third person character to have their buddy and this will happen no matter if he's placed in a level or if he is spawned so now when i hit play and press q we have our character spawn here now this character is our ai controller um, so just ignore him but that is our buddy now if i press q nothing happens and that is because we have another step and that step is the nav mesh bounce. So we want to make our volume. So we go to volume here and we go nav mesh bounce and we just drag this in. Now hit P on your keyboard and when you see this green, this means a nav mesh has been created so our AI controller can go inside this area. Now just use the scale tool and make a scale area. So I just need to spread it out across here. Move it in. And as you can see, the height of the nav mesh is actually just above this. So to sort that, we also need to scale in the Z axis. So that green line is just above the level. Otherwise, you can sometimes get issues where the AI controller cannot move in that mesh because the character may be just out the collision as well. So now when I press play and I press Q, our buddy has spawned. 
And when I press Q again, again, they do not move. Okay, so the issue here was the auto-possess AI only possesses it if it is placed in the world. We want placed in or spawned. Now when we hit compile and our character is spawned, they should have an AI controller because now the computer can take care of them. So when I press Q, my buddy moves on over to me and stops interacting with me when he meets. Now you can use a boolean to set this so he can keep moving on an event tick or you could just do it like this which is sort of how the Metal Gear Solid uses it along with a horse and have him stop in the position until you call them again. So this is a very simple way to create a buddy system who can follow you around the map and you can also spawn him when needed. So I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. If your opinions are otherwise, or if you have any suggestions, questions, advice, or just want to leave a general comment, leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. That'll be on the screen as it's quite a long handle. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys. Bye.